This video is part one in a series about electrical ground loops. Video one is an introduction to grounding and ground loops. When using an industrial amplifier as a part of a system, ground loops are of great importance. For the safety of personnel and equipment, system ground loops should be avoided and precautions should be taken to prevent them from occurring. The amplifier's ground is a key component in understanding ground loops. In power amplifiers, the ground provides a reference voltage for circuits within the amplifier. It improves noise and signal quality and provides an alternate current path in the event of a fault. In ideal conditions, the system ground will not interact with any signals and no currents will flow to the ground. In reality, ideal grounds rarely exist and poor grounding practices can cause complications with amplifiers and connected equipment. Ground loops occur when multiple paths to ground with different potentials are present. This difference in potential causes a current to flow to ground. This current flow can cause many problems and will typically affect the common or low side of devices. There are several important practices that should be followed to prevent ground loops. Facility grounds. To prevent ground loops, it is important to make sure that building and facility electrical grounds are of high quality. If facility grounds are low quality or poorly planned, this can cause a potential difference between ground points. If the building's metal structure is included in the ground circuit, then electromagnetic interference can be received as the building itself acts as an antenna. This can cause noise on the building's ground circuit and differences between grounds leading to ground loops. To avoid this, it is recommended that a local master ground bus, also known as a star ground, be used in systems to limit differences in ground points. Outlets that are physically close together do not necessarily have equal grounds, as they may be on different circuits. Measurement options. Ground loops can be caused by the improper use of voltage or current probes. By accidentally placing the ground of a probe on an ungrounded portion of a circuit, a voltage greater than zero is introduced to the ground system. To prevent these kinds of ground loops, it is recommended that active differential probes be used whenever connecting between the amplifier system and oscilloscopes or other test equipment. An alternative to differential probes is to use battery-powered measurement devices such as oscilloscopes or meters. Use caution with these devices as they typically have strict voltage limits that must be followed. Input options. Most signal generators and measuring devices use a two-pole connection with one pole connected to chassis ground. It is important that these chassis connected poles are not raised above ground. Doing so will cause ground loops in an amplifier system. A common cause of this is using more than one signal source on the amplifier's input when the signal sources being used are not designed for such a connection. We recommend only using devices specifically designed for interconnection with a single output point or an arbitrary waveform generator, such as the AE Techron 3110A, to perform tests where complex signal sources are needed. For information on avoiding ground loops when using AE Techron amplifiers, please see the second video in this series. For more information on AE Techron amplifiers, please contact AE Techron or one of our sales partners.